Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones. When we left off last time, there was a lot going on. We have, uh, well, we just got back to Mira, and uh, Marjorie's other handmaiden, Sarah, has something she wants to tell us. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what that's all about. We've also got uh, Garrett up at the wall, having some this difficulty way. fitting in. <sighs> Alright, let's get here. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Well, come on, Sarah. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Not to be abrupt, but... Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Okay. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Nope. Not about to mess with that. Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Mm, Cersei will. A little won't hurt. Uh, it's just wine. No, but it's I Cersei's wine and she's crazy. We won't get in trouble. And we will get in trouble. I'm not messing with it. Suit yourself, then. So, are you... Well? She's just chugging it down, huh? Well, uh, careful, Sarah. I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. What? What's wrong? Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. All right. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. Unless I feel later on that we need to, but... My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. <laughs> Just go right out there and say it, Nira. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But it's always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Hmm. Be, we'll be nice. I'm, I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Uh, a family of my own. See. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. There is something. Alright, what's she need? I know she often confides in you. And I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Yeah, it wouldn't of course hurt. Sarah. Well, maybe Thank it will you, hurt, Mira. but. Thank you. I'm feeling better that I'm she so asked sorry. this. Here I am talking about myself. Rather than asking me, I thought she was going to ask me to ask Marjorie directly. And it's like, I can't keep coming up to Marjorie always asking for favors. She she outranks me by quite a bit. I'm supposed to be her handmaiden. I, I can't always be asking her to do things for me. So this is better. I This I can handle. I can just say, why don't you talk to Sarah? She has something she wants to say to you. And then it's between Sarah and Marjorie after that. They can handle it. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? Not gonna You look do like it. you could use a drink. No, because hmm. there's Tyrion. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. I don't think he'd rat us out, but... What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon... You're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? Hmm. 
Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Mm -hmm. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. Sarah. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. <sighs> I'm just going to not answer. I don't want to rat her out, but I'm not taking the blame. We found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. <laughs> Yeah, we found the wine in the bush. Strange it should find its way into a bush. Uh-huh. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. I know Yet it. you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Yeah, he's got a point there. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. Mm. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Don't do it. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. All right, this is, we gotta do it something. It would seem Lord intervene. Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. All right. Let's do it. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. Yeah, let's do this. This is a good it plan. It might be the first fun I've had in months. We'll take the chance on Cersei getting all worked up about it. This My will lady. help our family. Sarah, ease off on the wine. It's okay to enjoy some wine, but I don't know how much experience she has with We've this. We've been she waiting here quick, for an hour. Drunk. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some well, girl you've brought for entertainment. My name is Mira Forrester. Yeah, so take that. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? Take a guess. A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. I'm here to sell our Ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken Too bad. to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listen. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. <laughs> You're going to dismiss? You can't us. do this. You sure I can. assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. Good. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Stare him Nor down. Nor am I. <laughs> lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Well, at least this Good guy's day, gentlemen. Those White Hills can suck it. We're taking them down. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? Well, my lord. Yeah, come the on, Mira. Iron. I assume you have a proposition. Mm-hmm. You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of iron wood. Oh, yes, I am. Lord Whitehill we'll will be left yep, in cold. Yep, squeeze him out. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. That would be perfect. You'll have him at your mercy. Mm-hmm. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. That's all right. It's going to happen one way or another. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. Oh, now he's got me nervous because he's really thinking about it. What's going to be smartest to do here? Help me out, Tyrion. I'll consider the arrangement. We can do this. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. All right. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. 
We have an understanding then. Okay. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us or disastrous. Or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. And my from lady. having read the books, Tyrion overall is a good guy. His house is really crappy. The Lannisters do a lot of crappy things, but he's a good person himself. So I, I feel pretty comfortable trusting him. Ah, Asher and Vex. She might be one of her best. Bet. She might be one of my favorites so far. I quite like her. Don't do anything, just wander about your day. Whoop. See, look at her, she's there got scarring all over gate. her face. I know another way. And it just makes her look You're coming with us, then. even more rugged and awesome. So, Roderick will be fine. Yeah, come if with you're us. You'll save your house. You'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts, and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Mm. Beska can lead them. What? She's stronger than most knights in Westeros. Yep. This is your fight, Asha. Your family. None of that matters without cell swords to hire. Take a quick break here. Now. It is Asher's fight. It is his family. I'm not choosing Beska because I don't want Asher to go back. I do. The house needs him. I'm choosing Beska because I know that Roderick is actually alive. So when Asher comes back, Roderick's the Lord. That's that's just the way of it. So I want, I, I don't want to risk like getting him all geared up for like, okay, I'm going to take charge of things. And then he has to step down. I want him to be happy being a second in command so he can support Roderick. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Ooh. Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. <laughs> no. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? You didn't part on the best of terms. Well... I'll be charming. Right. All these people are going to be so well, much happier when we're gone. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Okay. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Oh. Oh, here we go. Ponte Renas. Yonkai Heronjo si bota con costoti da or. Okay, guys, we really need to just get out of town. Keep going, keep going. Mm. Okay, we'll try and wait it out quietly. All right. I was worried that if we let her try to hit him, she might miss and it would make a ruckus. Have to kill later. Yeah, Let's go. Not if we get away. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. Yeah, for now, we let's need just get to get out of town. Out of they won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. 
Won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Well, that might not be true now. We've got some other options. But having an army can't help. Can't hurt. Although, I do have to be a little concerned if it's an army of swords. How loyal are they going to be to us if it comes down to it? Can our enemies just buy them out from under us? Oh, is this our coal boy again? Get in and take a look. Hmm. Uh, we'll just open it. need to be loud yet. Mira. Yeah, I bet this is from our coal boy. Why is everything a mess over there? Alright. Everything in order here? Everything's still here. Okay, that's good. key thing at this point would seem to be the note on the bed, but let's look around. Why would someone do this? It was probably an accident. And a scuff mark. What's that from? Oh, whatever was in the vase, I think. Trailed out. Now, why is the desk in such disarray? The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? Someone was certainly looking for something. Alright, let's see what this letter is all about. Oh, just grab it, Mira. Enough suspense. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Well, seems risky, but let's do it. I'm betting it's the coal boy. Although, really, I'm feeling okay with Tyrion. I don't know that I need help with that. But... There. <clears throat> that should last oh, through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She we'll may fine. not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. We will be fine. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. If Elena's a good person. But Elena will still just agree fine. to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Thanks Maester. for that, Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you <laughs> wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. How would you know that? I just meant that since there's no obvious damage, that... <laughs> Enough, Maester. <laughs> just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you, too. Yeah. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. It's fine. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. She means well. I'm She's so worried. Glad to see you the house home. is in a, a rough position. But Lord, seriously, it's going to be fine. Guys, stop worrying so much. All I can think for them to worry about is either because of the injuries he sustained or maybe because of the Roderick? position the house is in, but I think we should be just fine. It's not that bad. You look. 
You're really... Welcome to Ironrath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. We'll lay it on thick. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. Mm, maybe she's not that into that. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. Yeah, that's right. Reminder of happy times. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... I'm just fine. Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... Well, I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm Best to be honest with her. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. There we go. This is good signs. She looks a lot to me like someone, and I can't place who. It's something in the way her mouth is shaped. Who does she remind me of? I, um... I need to ask you something. All right. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. Yeah. White Hill soldiers. They seemed angry. Violent. They said some terrible things. They're terrible people, don't they? The White them. Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those we'll soldiers honest. are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Yes, it is. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. So we need your help. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. All right. But in light of all that's happened to your family... Don't... don't give up on me now. My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. What do you want to do? And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. I wish I could stand don't by you. Don't give Patrick. up. Oh, but come I have on. to be practical. No, you don't. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Come on, Elena. Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fortune, Roderick. Yep. We'll pay it. To secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... Yes. I think this will convince him. All right. I was worried... we'll remain allies after all. Ooh, good, I can apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... Oh, oh this guy. True. You have no right to just... And Get out of my house. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. So take that. Can I change your mind? How? You can do much better than this cripple. Get out. Now. How rude of you. No, rude of you to your bust in. Get out of my house. Invited me here? That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Whatever. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. 
The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. Now I hear you're ordering them around. Yeah, I am. And refusing to feed them. It makes me start to question your obedience. I'm not obedient to you. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking Get about. Get out of my house. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. Good for him. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? Nope. So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. No. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go no, on. it means a lot of things. All these men watching, Elena watching, everyone here, it means something. And we are not bending down like that. The funeral, yeah, it sucks that Ryan doesn't get to go, but it's not going to be the end of the world either. And eventually, when we get him back, he will understand. We're not going to kiss this guy's ring. Get on your knees. Our house needs to be strong. We will I'm not, not be bullied. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. No, nope, it's not going to work out that way. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Careful, Whitehill. How's Glenmore backs us? And we're backed by the Boltons. So you'll be getting flayed together. No, we won't. Don't worry about it, Elena. Well, I have what it came for. I'll leave you to your business. Don't worry about it. This guy just... He's all talk. We'll take him down. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Oh, that Isn't hurts that my feelings clever? so much. Don't worry, Elena. We got this. No second You'd thoughts You put now. your pride ahead of your family. It's not that. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him. No, we can't. We can't afford weakness. to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. Can't be done. We have to be strong. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man. I am. When I get the opportunity, White Hill's going down. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and wind the episode down there. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. Looks like we're hopping back to Garen. Yeah, let's see how things are at the top of the wall.